Before you can print anything out on a 3D printer, you need to run your model through a slicer. A slicer prepares your 3D model for the 3D printer and creates a file that the 3D printer can read. When you've made your 3D model in SketchUp or another 3D modeling app, you need to save your file as an STL file and then open it in the slicer. This slicer that we're using in this example is called FlashPrint. This slicer is used by the FlashForge Finder 3D printers. When you've opened FlashPrint on your computer, make sure that you have an STL file on your computer somewhere. When you're ready, click the load button at the top of the screen. You can see on my computer, I have a folder with lots of chess pieces in it. I'm going to choose one of these chess pieces and then click the open button. The model has appeared on the print plate. Sometimes you may get a message asking if you'd like to place the model onto the print plate. If you see that message, click yes. We've got different options at the side of the screen on the left hand uh, panel. If I double click on the move tool, it opens up some different options. I can change the position of the model by changing the numbers in the boxes, or I can simply click on the model and move it around the print plate. You can see when the model moves out of bounds of the print plate, you get this large red highlighted section to show that the model is no longer on the printable area. If you double click on the scale option, we can change the size of the model by changing the numbers in the different boxes. Or you can click and drag your mouse cursor outwards to change the size of your model. Remember that the larger the model is, the longer it's going to take to print. If you're happy with the size of your model and the position on the print plate, go to the top of the screen and click the print button. You shouldn't need to change any of these options. When you're ready, click OK. Now save the file with an appropriate file name. So I can either leave this as it is or I can just change the file name to whatever I need to. You can see that it's saving in the chess set folder and this time it's saving not as an STL file but as a .gx file. This is the type of file that the FlashForge 3D printers can actually read. You cannot do this in SketchUp or another 3D modeling app. So you have to run your STL file through the slicer and save it as a GX file. When you've given your file a name, you've selected where you want to save it, and you can see that it's saving as a .gx file, click the Save button. It quickly calculates the model sizes and how it's going to be made. And then in the top right hand corner, you can see the estimated time to print. So this very small piece is going to take 15 minutes and it's going to use 0 0.84 meters of um, plastic filament. This file, the GX file, is automatically saved now into your uh, chess set folder. So when you're ready, you can simply click the back button to return to the model as it was before or navigate directly to your chess set folder. You can see now I've opened my chess set folder and I still have all of the files from before, but I now have a chesspiece.gx file. When you have a GX file, you can put it onto a USB drive and take it to the 3D printer for printing.